Hey! So, as you guys know, I don't just build campers, I actually like to go out and camp. Uh, the camper is not done yet, so I went camping and just did tent camping, and I took Ursa out to a actually fairly local state park out here in Texas, uh, Lake Ray Roberts. Uh, a little surprised about the campsite. I didn't expect it to be as wooded as it was, but it was kind of pleasant. Nice shade the whole time, and it was nice and quiet down here. It was pretty much left alone to my own devices. I love camping. I love when it's quiet. I love when I'm out in the woods. I don't have to do much. I'll go hiking. I'll go um, explore. Obviously, I play with the dog. But if I can sit and just chill without having to do much um, or without wanting to do much, I am happy. Um, so, but to get there, obviously, first thing I have to do is build the camp. Um, Ursa helped me out quite a bit. I do feel like I was glamping this time as I did bring the bigger tent. The four-person tent, but it's perfect for the dog and myself and the gear. And then, of course, you'll see here through fancy video editing, the tent was up and built. And, of course, once it was built, I had to get gear, more gear, more gear, and more gear. Alright, so, dinner time. Um, we like to do different dinners Sunday nights. And a couple weeks back, before I went camping, we had this thing called Dr. Pepper Beef out of a otaku Japanese cookbook. And I thought it would be fun to go ahead and try and make a version of it for camp. Uh, what you see me here do is just try and collect all the ingredients. Um, it's pretty straightforward stuff. The uh, very simple ingredients that you can find in almost any sort of market, essentially. Just to go ahead and give you a quick rundown. Uh, we have the sesame oil, we have soy sauce, we have Dr. Pepper, which you really only need about half a can, um, any sort of onion, uh, baby carrots, and then of course the uh, stew meat, as well as a potato. Just like you do for most recipes, one of the first things you're going to do here is just chop up the uh, onion. So out of all the walking I did and out of all the supplies I got, the one thing I forgot was a big bowl to actually put all my stuff in. So what you can't see off camera is I'm actually putting all these onions into a pan that's not being used tonight as I'll be using the uh, cast iron uh, Dutch oven. Oh hey look, you can see my pan, bowl, bowl, pan, whatever you want to call it. So I like cooking with the Dutch oven over the fire, I think that's what it's called. I never have a tripod though. I, uh, I just put it directly on the fire itself. Um, here, would you see me just go ahead and put some oil in, a lot of sesame oil and the onion. Um, one thing you will note though is I didn't have enough patience to wait for this fire to actually get as hot as it should. Um, so what I ended up doing here later is move it. Alright, so with the onions cooking, I um, went ahead to get the potato chopped up. Obviously had to clean it up a bit, and then uh, went to chopping. This is a big hearty stew, so make sure to keep these, or I like to at least keep these potatoes at a pretty big chunks. Um, the stew will sit on the fire for probably about an hour cooking through. Alright, so with the onion and potato chopped up, it's just time to put everything together. The onion has been cooking. Now that it's the color that you want it to be, just go ahead and dump the meat into the pot and let it uh, brown up.
So now that the uh, meat is nice and brown, we'll go ahead and add in some soy sauce. I'm really eyeballing the whole thing, just kind of getting the bottom covered, and then stirring that around a bit. You can already hear what's coming next. Next is the Dr. Pepper. Now this was a mini can, and I used probably about half of it um, in the pot itself. I just coated the bottom, again cooked it up a little, let some of the uh, excess moisture cook out. Once that's cooked out, the one thing I did forget to mention earlier in the ingredients, just bring yourself your favorite stock. Um, this can be ramen stock, this can be chicken stock, I just used beef... Uh, beef broth for mine and just dumped the whole can into here after which we can go ahead and dump into potatoes and the carrots however many carrots you like stir everything around a bit and then we'll just, um, once everything's stirred up, at that point I'll just fill up, um, or fill it with water up until the potatoes and the carrots are covered. Stir it around one more time. And once everything's boiling, we'll go ahead and put the lid on. And from there, we can go ahead and just uh, let it cook until we feel it's done. Huh? Pretty much about 30 minutes or so. Alright, so yeah. Uh, shoddy camera work here, but you can see this turned out absolutely delicious. The uh, stew is the right consistency, plus... It was down to the 50s this night, so this really hot meal felt amazing. And for a bigger guy like me, it was just a perfect, perfect portion. If you're sitting here wondering what the uh, Dr. Pepper inside of a stew like this tastes like, honestly, you don't really taste the Dr. Pepper too much. It just kind of adds a little bit of, uh, oh, what's, what is that type flavor to it, I guess. And with this, it was time to go ahead and hit the sack, as I wanted to go ahead and get the day started early next day. Oh man, it was early. Um, so yeah, after the pup was fed, I went ahead and got myself started that day. A uh, simple breakfast skillet from Aldi. Um, cooked it up with, uh, I guess the bag is, just throw the potatoes and the veggies in a pan, cook them up until they look done, and then you put in your eggs, and hey, you got breakfast. I mean, honestly, it worked out pretty well. Based on this picture, 10 out of 10, I'd recommend for breakfast anytime. Um, that day we didn't do much. I did take Ursa out for a bit of a hike, and then we kind of drove out to the uh, boat ramps and the parks for us to go ahead and, well, I should say for her to explore the water a bit. Um, it was in the 60s, so I didn't get in, but she loves it. Unfortunately, there isn't much else to show for the trip. Um, the rest was kind of just spent lazily. Uh, that being said, I've been dabbling a bit more with photography and trying to take a bit more pictures. Um, here are just some of my favorites. Yes, my dog is in it a lot. Um, she's very photogenic, so it's easy to take pictures of. Um, Y'all, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you found value in this video or if you were entertained by it, please uh, go ahead and subscribe. And um, don't forget about our blog at rideamountacampy.net and of course our Instagram at rideamountacampy. And I hope I see you guys next week.